Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are having to bring these messages out to help you stay on your path to be back into your divine union. And so I do divine love healing. I can connect to your souls and get you the messages that your souls want you to know to put you on your highest path. And I see everything like a film, so it could be anything from past life to an analogy about where your energies are at together to cutting energy cords or contracts. Anything really that your soul needs you to know to put you on your highest path. And so that's about moving out of fear, anxiety, worry and into more and more love. As well as that, I do um, a crystal grid. And um, the crystal grid is based on the forest lovers. Here you go. This is what the crystal grid looks like. You receive a photo of the grid plus a piece of rose quartz, which is sit, sit, you put in the middle of the grid. And when you meditate with that and send, have the intent to send unconditional love out to your twin, it basically anchors the energies of as above, so below. It's also based all around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. So the roots of the trees go down into the earth and it's all about bringing your spirit into matter, bringing your spiritual connection into your reality. So about grounding the energies of love and light onto the planet. So then you become part of a soul group that are helping each other to bring out these messages because if you're a twin flame, you're drawn to these messages. If you're drawn to my channel, then it's because we signed up together to help each other come into our unions. And so the message for today is two things. One is about this little giraffe. So a lady sent me this, um, she is on the crystal grid. And basically, um, this is a baby giraffe. So the mum of the giraffe is called April. And um, we had the messages about giraffe a while ago. Now, they, this baby has just recently been born and it is a male. So, uh, and I don't know if, they, if they've named it yet, but this is a little baby boy giraffe. So I'm going to read again what the giraffe spirit guide is because when the giraffe reveals as your spirit animal, the time to rise above earthly matters is now. Giraffe as a totem animal belongs to sure-footed folks who see the big picture but remain grounded. <laughs> Invoke giraffe as your power animal when you need help walking with your head held high. And the symbolism for this is um, all about... The ability to see the future and obtain things that would normally be out of reach. When your life is chaotic, giraffe reminds you to keep your head up and avoid getting entangled in needless arguments. So it's all being about seeing the bigger picture, which is what the messages have been about recently. It's about knowing and trusting in your own intuition and your own truth. And then being able to see that you're part of a bigger picture, that you're part of a much bigger picture to help bring love and light onto the planet. And so therefore, you know that you're going to be assist assisted to come together in your unions because you're actually needed. And so this is, um, a again, from the same person. She was looking in her, I think it was her friend's record collection, and we've had a lot about the Wizard of Oz again recently. The Wizard of Oz, what does Dorothy do? She taps her feet together and she comes home. So, um, the, in her, so she looked and there was an album called Toto. <laughs> now, on the Toto, there is the, the sword, which is all about, reminds me of the Ace of Swords, right? Which is about speaking your truth, clarity, wanting to speak your truth. It's about, you know, cutting through the crap, basically. And also there is the four rings. Now the four rings have been featured because we had the Audi car and the car is all about, you know, that your body is your car. And so you're increasing your light body. You're increasing, that's your job, is to increase the more and more love and light you fill your body with, the more you're vibrating at a higher frequency, right? And that's what we're here to do. So this is perfect because it has the sword of truth, the sword of clarity, plus the four rings around it. And it's called Toto. Even the name Toto, right, which is the dog in the Wizard of Oz, is a little mirror. <laughs> so again, perfect. Look at the songs on the album, though. This is what is so great. So basically, we have Rosanna. Again, R Rose is all... Um, for me, the rose is what I used for the, uh, the re my Reiki. That was my initiation, the flower that I see. 
So rose is also the flower of divinity, right? So the message that we were getting, that I was getting yesterday is this is from the divine masculines was this, is it, is it too good to be true? You know, am I able to take this next step? Because what happens if it's not real? And is this love really true? And, and, you know, can I really trust it? So the fact that the next song down is make believe, is it make believe? Well, no, it's not make believe. Um, and then it says, I won't hold you back. And this is about, you know, at the end of the day, they won't be able to be held back because the love is too good for them and the feeling is too strong for them, right? So again, just the, you know, the, how these songs all play into giving a message is amazing. The next part is about being afraid of love. And that's something that we've also had to do recently is also clear, step into the fear. It's about, you know, cutting to energetic ties to fear. But then, you know, fear is an adrenaline lens that we need to, that energy is very strong. And so it's about feeling the fear and doing it anyway, because... The next one is about lovers in the night and you know the cop the pull of the heart is so strong and you are the ultimate lovers for each other there will never be a more fulfilling sexual experience than having it with your twin flame so that is what is perfect because you will be making love through the night through the day you know all the time when you're together the next one is we made it which is perfect and the next one is waiting for your love, which I feel that, you know, obviously, if you've been on this journey, then a lot of that is learning that, you know, putting your state, to, it's not about being in the waiting, because then it just leaves you in a state of waiting. It's about finding that love in your heart and then cherishing that and cherishing the journey, because the journey is in togetherness of anyway, right? That is the journey of finding yourself more, finding love more, and looking at what love can do to change your life. And then finally, the last song is Africa. So again, you know, we go full circle because where, giraffe, where are giraffes? Giraffes are in Africa. So I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool. Again, um, on here, she then says the album cover... Of course, we have the Star of David. David is the divine union because the six-point star has divine masculine, divine feminine, divine union. So we know that if there's a date, if there's David there, then that is the sign of the divine union, right? And look, there is on the album actual cover, there is a David. Um, as well as this, look, well, there's actually more than just one. There's there's two, and the other thing that I noticed on here, where is this? Um, Talk about thinking about anything can happen, right? And things that you just don't expect could happen. Oh, it's happening. We also have the message from this morning was about Bob the Cat. Because Bob the Cat was a true story where a guy completely changed his life, right? And we have a Bobby here. So again, you know, you just can't, you know, these sorts of things are just amazing. Because it just shows you how absolutely everything is connected. One into the next, into the next, into the next. And it is all about, you know, knowing that actually they are in your heart, right? It's not make-believe. It is true that there is no need to be afraid of love because love is always in your heart. All right. Well, listen, I hope that that helps. And they do want to speak their truth. That is definitely the message that's coming through is that they know that there needs to be a heart-to-heart, -heart, right? They know that they have to be clear and speak their truth. But it's that being frightened to take that last step or to take that step because opening up the doorway to your heart is a big thing. It's a big thing. And so that's why view them like a child and have the energy of being that sort of childlike doing it together, right? Because the more that you can do that, the more you, that you live in that energy, the more you're helping their vibration as well. All right, well, again, thank you so much to everyone that's sending in these messages. Thank you to the people that are coming to me for healing. Thank you to everyone that's commenting, liking, and doing all the, you know, all of that sort of stuff, because it's all of our higher selves that are driving these messages. So thank you, because without you, this channel would not exist. All right, thanks ever so much. Bye.